Hello and welcome to the Bike Century. My name's Ben and today I'm going to be showing you around this absolutely stunning Yamaha Tracer 9 GT. Um, now the GT obviously is a, a, a trim level that you get on the Tracer 9, um, giving it a much higher specification. And I'll try and point that out as we go around the bike. This is a 2022. It's got the three cylinder effectively MT09 engine that produces about 115 horsepower. It's a really torquey engine. Uh, unusual for uh, Yamaha, obviously, to have a three-cylinder engine, but it just works in this bike. It's really punchy. Uh, it's really smooth as well. Um, can't say enough good things about the uh, the engine in this. And there's also the cross-plane crank as well. Um, changes the firing order slightly, makes it a bit smoother, less pulsing. Um, yeah, just a really, really nice, smooth engine. It's covered um, under 5,000 miles from new. Two owners really really clean and tidy bike and really well specced so starting at the front um this has got the uh t32 uh, bridgestones on it um which come on it from the factory they're a really good tire 300 mil twin discs radially mounted four pot brakes with abs uh, everything you'd expect really um upside down forks which are fully adjustable um we'll come back to those because they are part of the electronic um, system that you get with the GT model. Previous owners put a radiator guard on there, uh, the paint protector stickers that you can see on the left, RNG crash protectors and a pyramid extender fender which is a really nice thing to have, uh, just stops the front of the exhaust from getting absolutely covered in road dirt. It's finished uh, in a two-tone silver black with the blue decals, blue wheels, looks absolutely amazing. Um, Again, on this side, you can see just on the bottom of the engine case in there, there is a slider, so they are made by RNG. And again, nice thing to have. All of the paint protector stickers on the heel plates and the side of the bike. Um, main stand is standard with these. And again, you've got the RNG uh, bobbins on the back with a matching Bridgestone on the rear. Being the GT, it came with the uh, Yamaha panniers and the previous owner has opted to put a color-coded Yamaha top box on there as well. This is a really comfy bike. Obviously, being a GT bike, it's designed to uh, to be ridden over distance. So if you look at the riding position, the seat relative to the bars is quite low. So it keeps your back nice and straight. Uh, it's still got a sporty Pro S, but this is the sort of bike that's versatile and you can use for pretty much everything, I'd say. Hand guards again, they've got the paint protector um, stickers on there. They're like, a, they're like a 3D padded sticker, so they're really good for protecting the paint. Uh, the hand guards are really good, obviously for just taking the edge off of the, uh, the windshield. This was a facelifted bike, so you can see the new front end with those R1 style lower lights um, and these really nice small uppers, which I think is a lot prettier than the outgoing model. Uh, LED indicators, um, and this bike has also got a tinted screen, which wouldn't have come uh, with the bike as standard. So loads and loads of, good, loads of goodies on this bike. <sighs> on this side, very much the same. Very, very clean and tidy. No major marks, damage or anything like that. Um, you can see the quick shifter there. Bike comes with a, a, an up and a down shifter, um, like an auto blipper. Again, you can see the rear suspension through there, but that is electronically controlled, so you don't need to adjust that, though you can. Um, just there on the back on the pillion rest, you can see is the, the preload adjustment. Um, chain driven, as you can see, chain, tires, brakes, sprockets, all that stuff, they're all checked as part of our pre-delivery, but this is a 4,000 mile bike and it's very, very clean and tidy. So I don't expect we're gonna have any issues there. Comes with two keys, all the owner's manuals and service history. It's been looked after by us. And the outgoing owner is actually one of our technicians and he's a, previously is a Yamaha technician. So you can, uh, you can rest assured that the bike's been well looked after. So electronically, um, you get a lot of upgrades with the GT model. So I'll try and cover a few of them off. On the left-hand dash, um, TFT you've got all the usual stuff so gear position your quick shifter activity speed rev counter um, in the middle there you've got all of your modes so you've got your drive mode which uh, then controls your traction control your suspension modes etc so there are some preset modes that you can select and they will determine the whole bike setup or you can customize those to suit yourself and there's a lot of different bits in there that you can change I won't go into it in any detail but uh, this bike is completely customizable and it is designed to suit everyone for every application. And then at the bottom, you've got all your usual warnings, uh, tells you whether your heated grips are on, etc. On the right hand dash, you can fully customize this dash to say whatever you want, but in this particular instance, you can see the uh, fuel, you can see the cruise control settings in the top right, and then obviously your trip 
and then your MPG average, and that's just how it's been set by the previous owner. And all of that is controlled uh, off the switch gear. So you've got your mode selection on the front trigger. Uh, this controls some of the display. Um, you've got your uh, cruise control just here, your light settings, indicators, and then all the kind of usual stuff. And then on the right hand side, you've got this roller, uh, which I really like it as it goes. Um, makes it really, really easy. It's similar to BMW system, but it's on the right hand side. But to be honest, once you've set the bike up, you really don't need to mess around with it too much. Let's give it a start up so you can have a listen. It's got a really, really nice sounding engine. Because of the cross-plane crank, it sounds slightly different than like a traditional three-cylinder that you'd see in something like a Triumph. But it does offer all the same benefits. So it's creamy and smooth. Um, you know, the fuel control and the electronic throttle on it is really, really nice, really smooth. Fantastic bike. You know, it's one of the reasons why they're as popular as they are. So this bike's going to come with a three-month warranty from us. It'll also come with uh, free delivery within England and Wales. We can deliver to Scotland for a small charge. Um, we offer finance and part exchange as well, so if that's something you're interested in, please feel free to reach out. You can pick up the phone and ask us any questions that you've got or reach us through social media, WhatsApp, uh, Google, whichever you like. Um, that's it for me. Thanks very much for watching. I look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care.